Good morning, here is Saturday, March 28th, 10.27 a.m. Weather for today is cloudy, currently 1 degrees with a low of minus 3 and a high of 7 with a gentle breeze and a wind chill of minus 3. The value of one Bitcoin is $253.31. Stock update. Facebook is trading at $83.29. Ford of Tavarong Limited is trading at $17.10. And now, the latest stories from the world section of the BBC News. Nigeria votes in presidential pool. Voters in Africa's most populous nation, Nigeria, are taking part in presidential elections amid delays due to new biometric voter card. Alps co-pilot predicted notoriety. The co-pilot of the German Wings Airbus, which crashed in the French Alps, predicted one day everyone will know my name. His ex-girlfriend says jihadists capture Syria's idolite. Islamist militants have captured the northwestern Syrian city of Idlib for the first time. Monitoring groups say Knox and Solacino cleared of murder. A man who Knox and Raphael A. Solacino are acquitted by Italy's top appeals board of murdering British. Student Meredith Kircher in 2007, the final ruling in the case. That's all for now. Have a nice day. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's just talk about what exactly this project is. This is a wake up alarm clock. So it turns on a light, it reads out the news, it connects to my server where I'm serving up some music, and it plays it for me all in the morning to wake me up. How perfect is that for a Raspberry Pi project? So on the left, we have the Puzzle Lamp project. I'll just go around the other side here to, to point it out. This is the uh, Puzzle Lamp project. Find a link for that on screen now. Inside of here is the Raspberry Pi that's connected to the alarm clock. Uh, that alarm clock is just action, it's actually just acting as an amp right now. It's just acting as a radio, playing the sounds that we can hear. All the work is actually being done by the Raspberry Pi inside there. Uh, these two lights are just, uh, they're non-functioning for the purpose of this video. Basically, I don't have an overhead light in my bedroom, so I have these two on the side, but they're not part of this. So what, what we've got here is a, a Raspberry Pi that's going online. It's grabbing the news and the headlines and all the bits. You can, you can find my alarm clock project on screen now. It then turns on the light, as you've seen. Then it reads out all the stuff using Google Voice, which is fantastic. And then when it gets to the end of that, it connects to the server, randomly picks a track, and then plays that track in the morning. Of course, when it's finished, the light goes off, it returns to the normal state, and we're waiting again for tomorrow morning. Guys, I'm really happy with this project. 
Again, it's the culmination of a couple of different things coming together, so I'm, I'm really excited. And I just want to give a special shout out to Rob Letourneau and the Black Cherry Band. That was Northern Blues that you just heard. You should go check out their website, blackcherryband.ca. They're really cool. Really thanks a lot, guys, for giving me that track to use this morning. I hope you guys will check them out and support them. They're fantastic. Thanks again. If you have any questions, don't forget to post them in the comments section below. If you really found this video useful or helpful, you can buy me a coffee in the About section below. All the links and all the relevant information you're looking for is also in that About section. Don't forget to give me a like if you like the video, a dislike if you dislike the video, and tell me why you liked it or why you disliked it. If you've got any cool Raspberry Pi projects that you want to share, please share them in the comments section below. It's really cool when we create a little community around these projects, able to share with one another. Don't forget you can contribute to this project. It's now on GitHub, which means that if you have any ideas about different ways you want to take this or any extra plugins or features that you want to do, maybe you want to get news from a different source or maybe you want weather to read out in a different, in a different way. You can make all of those changes. You can re-upload them and uh, make your own variations of this. Speaking of which, the mute or the snooze button isn't working yet. If anybody's got any ideas how to put that together, I'd definitely be very interested in hearing about it. Well, thanks again. Don't forget to subscribe. There's lots of cool projects always coming up, especially involving the Raspberry Pi. You can check out some of those other videos now. Have you got any great projects? Don't forget to let us know.